Hello everyone, at the end of this video, you should be able to describe a rise in temperature of a body in terms of an increase in its internal energy. When we heat an object, we say that the object gains thermal energy. But have you ever wondered what exactly thermal energy is? To answer this question, we need to know what kinds of energy the tiny particles in the matter have. Internal energy is the total energy of all the tiny particles in the matter. It consists of two components, random kinetic energy and potential energy. In other words, particles have both random Ke and Pe. Random Ke plus Pe equals to internal energy. Random kinetic energy. The random kinetic energy is due to the motion of the particles. The word random is there to remind us that the motion of the particles is random. The amount of random Ke depends on the average speed of the particles. The faster the particles are moving, the more random kinetic energy the matter has. Potential energy. The Pe is due to the attractive forces or bonds between the particles. The amount of Pe of the matter depends on the average distance between the particles. The further the particles, the more Pe the matter has. Let us now link the concept of internal energy with the concept of temperature. Recall that when the temperature of the matter increases, the particle in the matter move faster and more vigorously. Hence, as the temperature of the matter increases, the random Ke of the matter also increases. Since internal energy equals to random Ke plus Pe, a rise in temperature of the matter will also lead to an increase in the internal energy of the matter. There is something very strange about internal energy. Although there are two components for internal energy, only one component can increase or decrease at each time. We cannot have both the random Ke and Pe to increase or decrease at the same time. When the temperature of the matter increases, only the random Ke increases. When the melting or boiling occurs, only the Pe of the particles increases. Before I end this video, let me answer the question I have asked you at the start of this video. What is thermal energy? Roughly speaking, thermal energy is the same as internal energy. But we usually reserve the term thermal energy when we talk about objects we can see with our naked eyes. And we seldom use it when we talk about tiny particles in the matter. Before we move on to the next video, please look at the learning objective again and ask yourself whether you have achieved it. See you in the next video.